the Joker. And he was evil. So we painted on till we. <laughs> so I was trying to paint. But then he told me. We're both goat farmers. Totally. And I told him I can farm a goat better than he can. Which he can't. <laughs> so, we went to uh, Bosnia, where we heard it's a big thing, goat farming, to try yeah. our hand at it. So we, uh, well, we took some pictures along the way we thought yeah, we'd share are. them with you guys. So, when we got to the plane to Bosnia, uh, a little bit of a tragedy happened before we even oh. took off. <laughs> you see, our goat farming teams came with us, and, well, this happened, did you, John? Well, this was Team A, or my team, and as you notice, my goat is dead. <laughs> um, just happened to happen that way. We uh, packaged him up, and uh, when, we got, when we landed, remember, it was that stench. A so dead goat. Yeah. Because he was dead. And it was a good thing that the TSA is working overseas, <laughs> because that stench really got to everyone. And it was pretty bad. The TSA was giving us a lot of trouble during the, the uh, entire flight. You see, my goat happened to be praying to his goat <laughs> god in a language that sort of resembled Arabic, so the TSA stepped in to make sure she wasn't getting on the flight. So, uh, as you can see, fortunately I brought along another goat egg, and uh, my <laughs> farmer here brought it onto the plane uh, to replace my goat, which is now locked up. That was super lucky of you, too. That was too. super lucky of me that I brought that goat's egg. Yep. <laughs> anyway, when we got to Bosnia, the first thing we did was visit the most famous goat farm of all to see how the professionals did it. Oh, yeah. Oh. And when we arrived, well, it was quite a scene, to say the least. <laughs> well, we watched a lot of the mating goats, and we learned the intricacies that come into the goat farm. Uh, we found that uh, they fertilize best in downward-facing dogs, and uh, from that moment, we really just, we really just farmed the heck out of them. We sure did. You see, my farmer found a goat tree and was pulling down fresh goat fruit. 
Crisp, delicious red goats. Oh my <laughs> gosh. I can't even tell you how much I ate of those goat fruits. Of those goat fruits. <coughs> and as you can see, my other goat, uh, I guess, astrally projected to Bosnia and was hiding in the corner waiting to make her appearance. Look at all the goat fruit it ate. <laughs> <laughs> it was eating goat fruit for two, you see. Yeah. But we'll get on to that in a minute. You see... We brought our goats out, decided to farm them against one another. This is when the competition really oh, kicked yeah. off. Round one began of our goat farming fight. <laughs> and as you can see... <laughs> yeah, if you notice, uh, your goat tree is definitely beating up my dead goat. <laughs> Turns out I had never seen a goat before in my life. I was just assuming everything was a goat. Right. <laughs> it was nice. It was nice to know that your real asterisk... Pro pro uh, Astrally projected. Thank you. I'm the better speaker, it. I understand. It's okay. You but know what goats are. But real astrally projected goat was actually giving birth to a second goat. <laughs> Identical to the first one. It was amazing. <laughs> Could not make this stuff up. And as you can see, my farmer back here... Well, John, please. <laughs> well, if you notice, he's uh, getting a good look right out yonder because he has spotted the prime location for the next goat farm he's going to open. Well, we decided that fighting goats was not the way to go, and we decided that our goats needed some much needed rest because they were out of shape. And so Lots of we decided to combine our efforts into our own goat farm. And as you can see, this was the result. <laughs> One of the goats immediately died. <laughs> Just walked on, walked off and was then eaten partially out of a bowl by my farmer. Yeah, you know, he really uses every part of the goat. Every part of the goat. Those horns are the greatest cups I've ever used. Mm -hmm. And their bones make lovely wind chimes, oh. don't they? Oh. Anyway. Bosnia was great this time. Bosnia oh, was great, despite the war. Oh, yes. <laughs> Do you, oh, shall, oh, do you want to or shall I? <laughs> <laughs> you see, this goat was perpetually pregnant in her natural form, and is seen here giving birth to yet another goat. We had a very prosperous year. And if you notice, the offspring of said goats tended to be a little... Possessed. Oh. Yes. This one walked downstairs that way and then vomited blood. It was amazing. They were the best kind of goats. Did we mention our pictures are a la Harry Potter, and sometimes they move for no reason? <laughs> I just thought we had stronger goats that could hold a pose for more than 10 seconds. <laughs> anyway, we decided to stay in Bosnia for the remainder of our lives where we're here to tell you our story here today. And we thought we'd bring you up to date with where our goat farm is one month later. As you can see, two of our goats are dead, one of our goats has a serious drug problem, <laughs> and we have a new goat tree. Oh, look at how healthy it is! <laughs> That's why I'm sitting here. All right, come on. She's so embarrassed. Is she here? Look, turn around. I know. <laughs> hey! Hi. You made it! Yep. Awesome! <laughs> Tell her how nice her hair is. You got a braid on. That must have been hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't buy for it. What do I do? You're rocking it. Huh? I'm rocking it. Thank you Just so much. Keep with the uh, small talk for a second. Small talk. Yep. Okay. So, Tom Cruise has a new movie out. <laughs> you don't like Tom Cruise? She's not the Scientology, but I get it now. <laughs> Just, you gotta find her interests. Interests? You do things. Yeah. Let's talk about you doing things. What do you do? Um, I play soccer. You play soccer? That's awesome! I love soccer, too! Clearly I'm an athlete! <laughs> <laughs> You're bombing. Tell Esther how her food is. You're bombing. Hey, did you eat? <laughs> Eat something. <laughs> I didn't order food. <laughs> Just go go to the, the cafeteria lady and oh, ask yeah. for a free meal. Uh, oh, awesome! Cafeteria lady, we're poor. <laughs> Do you have tickets or something for the? Yes, food. Cops <laughs> get uglier every year. <laughs> so there's food now. Cool. She's happy with the food! This is a great date, you should have. Uh, so phenomenal, I know. I mean, it's like, I mean, when was the last time something like this really worked out? Focus on her. Oh, yes. <laughs> wow. Food. She's here now. Yeah. You should eat that food. No. Soccer. <laughs> Hair. <laughs> Hey, yeah. All right, you're really bombing. So okay. I've got right. these 
bottle I got from my dad's in medicine cabinet. We're in school, are you kidding? Put that away! Whoa, what do you mean? What are you talking about? It's 8 o'clock in the school! Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> they say it's acetaminophen Listen, on Listen, I gotta have another topic to talk about, all right? Oh. I gotta have another topic. Uh, uh, give me something. What's the last thing you read? Uh, Game of Thrones. Awesome. Yeah. So, do you like dragons? Yeah, they're cool. <coughs> Swords. Beheadings. No beheadings? Talk about Ranley Baratheon. Ranley Baratheon. So, um, this guy he likes to skin people, if that's your thing. <laughs> wrong, wrong person. Wrong one. That's no, Ramsey. No, no, Ramsey, okay. He doesn't like to skin people at all. He just is related to a guy who skins people. That's not cool at all. What's your favorite school subject? You're not sure either, are you? <laughs> I'm science, too. That's awesome. Yeah, you've done enough. Ask her to be your girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> hey, look, I know that I am more than four times your age here. <laughs> what? And there is definitely the possibility that I may go to jail for pretty much ever, and you will go to therapy. <laughs> But I figure since I brought you poor people food, we talked about skinning and maybe science and soccer in your hair, and we have the same name. Hey, just get to it. Just get to it. Can you give me a ride home? No. <laughs> Personalities or whatever the case may be. Three, two, one, go! I'm making shakes at the mulch shop. <laughs> oh, dear God! I mean, would you like a shake, darling? <laughs> Golly gee, would I love one? Oh! Uh, anything but vanilla! No, we want vanilla. I like vanilla. Oh, oh, okay. Fine, uh, fine. No vanilla. No, no chocolate. Chocolate. Chocolate shake. Okay. Sure thing. Chocolate shake. Wait, Who do I look at? Who do I look at? <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey. Switch!
Pinky. <laughs> I didn't think I'd find you guys here. Why wouldn't you expect us here at the clown convention? I thought maybe you'd learned your lesson the last time. Oh, learn my lesson? I'll show you what I've learned. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> All right, you guys stop it. You guys have been fighting. Peruvian! You guys have been fighting for so long. <laughs> I am going to play you my bad flute. I am a Peruvian clown man. Now, we never left hand flute in clown college. I know. All I can do is ride this unicycle and juggle. Listen up, whispers. <laughs> Nobody asked you for your opinions. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> Listen to me. Nobody asks you your opinion. Oh. Yeah? <laughs> oh. German! So, yeah. they're going to go there, are they? Da! All right, Miss Girls. They will. Listen to me. I've come here to chew bubblegum and kick your red nose in. Oh. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Yeah. I will make a little <laughs> bit out of you. I will not say that at the 8 o'clock show. Oh, you will not say that at the 8 o'clock show! I will not say that at the 8 o'clock show! I will not say that at the 8 o'clock show! I will not say that at the 8 o'clock show! I will not say that at the 8 o'clock show! Alright, I'm wanting you to listen to me, okay? I'm gonna sit right down here and I'm gonna put on my giant shoes, alright? I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna want to do it at 3, you guys are gonna disappear, right? Whoa, whoa, I'm gonna get it, get it, get it! Mozzarella, Mozzarella, pasta, Johnny Pizza. Man, it's okay. <laughs> All right. We need good, man. Hey, man, hop in my car. <laughs> oh, she's going to pull the tiny oh, car thing what? again. Yeah. I'm going to turn around and put my shoes on. And if I turn around again, you better not be here, man. I re- I can't use my radio. Just got me. Oh. Hello. Let me change the station. I am a prince. <laughs> <laughs> I need about five hundred thousand dollars of your American money. <laughs> French. I do not care about your money. Oh, I don't want you around here. Uh, and you, uh, Binky, come on, I I cannot tell you how much I hate both of you. <laughs> oh, here uh, we are. Uh, the first competition is in the second fourteen. <laughs> Minutos! Why? Mis amigos! Ven aquí! Necesitamos! Sabado de Gante! Oh! Freshman okay. year high school Spanish! <laughs> Por favor, mantenga se alojado de las puertas. <laughs> Donde es Donetos? Donde es mi pantalones? Hey, Gusta! <laughs> Me put a shoes on, again, oh, Russian! I will go into this place, put on my shoes. Yes, you will go to your grave. I've had enough of both of you. All right. Listen, giggles. Listen, whispers. I'll kill both of you. Small dog Pomeranian! Huh? Small dog Pomeranian! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>